Good afternoon. This week on Outside the Box, we will talk about the KSU baseball team as they opened up their season last weekend. So far, they are 2-2, two and two, but they hope to improve upon and have another great season like last year of 32-25. and 25. Then we'll talk about MLB news. Tommy Hansen was in a wreck and he suffered a concussion. What will this mean for the Braves rotation? Then we will talk about Lynn Sanity. Lynn Sanity. That's all I'm going to say about that. NFL news. We're going to talk about will Peyton Manning go to the Colts? If you were him, what would you do? Keep it here. This is Outside the Box. We're sitting here on the beautiful campus of Kennesaw State University and I want to first congratulate the KSU men's indoor track and field team for winning its third A-Sun Championship tournament this past weekend and our own very own head coach Andy Eggerth was named men's indoor track and field A-Sun coach of the year. So just great talent coming out from Kennesaw and then keeping it here on campus. As I spoke of earlier, the baseball team opened up their season led by junior catcher Ronnie Freeman, recently named an All-American. He struggled to get his first hit in the first couple of games. They lost the first games Friday by 4-3 to three and then 3-2 to two to Virginia Tech and they lost to Bradley University as well. But they did get in the win column last night as they defeated Alabama State by a score of 14-2. Freeman, senior first baseman Andy Chris Caden, and Outfielder, freshman Cody Belcher in his debut went deep for the Owls. So that was a great, great game. 14 to 2, unbelievable. And then tomorrow they will head to Memphis and they will play again. So they are 2 and 2 right now. But uh, guys, anything you want to add about KSU athletics? Well, it's just Rodney Freeman, you know, he needs to really get on and lead this team. He's the captain. And he, he, I think with a good with a good season this year, we could really do something in the Atlantic Sun tournament. Absolutely. And uh, he's, the, he's the guy. He's a captain, and Peyton Manning's a co captain. Peyton Manning. <laughs> Yep, I got Manning on the mind. Peyton Hart is the co-captain, shortstop, so uh, those two guys definitely have to lead, and Andy Chris Caden as well. <laughs> Keeping with baseball, but this time moving to the professional circuit, pitchers and catchers reported to spring training Sunday and Monday, especially the Atlanta Braves. That's who we're looking at right now. Tommy Hansen, on his way to spring training Monday afternoon, had a one-car accident. He turned a little too fast and he hit his head. We don't know if it was on the steering wheel or the glass, but he did suffer a mild concussion, a level one concussion, which is the lowest, thank goodness. So he's just going to get a couple of days off and then he'll be back. Freddie Gonzalez, the manager, doesn't think that it's going to affect his preparation and his uh, regiment as he prepares for the season. But guys, if, if he's out, what does this mean for the Atlanta Braves rotation? Because Tim Hudson's already out for back surgery. He's probably not going to come back till May. Well, it's, it's a, it would be a bad loss for the for the rotation I mean you, you have Tommy Henson who's coming in he's big red he's gonna have to lead he's gonna have to anchor the rotation and uh, with him out it's gonna be a real tough tr trouble with all, all the offensive struggles that the Braves had last year to get going with them they really need their pitching to be at, at top par absolutely and along with Hanson we don't know if Jurgens I think Jurgens might be traded before the spring ends but if you have Hanson out you have Beachy uh, Tehran you know, Mike Miner, you don't know who's going to start for the Braves, and they're all rookies at this point, so I really can't depend upon that. Uh, some other things to look for for the Braves. Jason Hayward has slimmed down. He was already skinny as a stick, but now he's 235 pounds. It's all muscle. He's lean, and he's been training with Chipper Jones during the offseason, hitting in the cage, so he looks to improve upon a dismal 2011 season. Um, also, another thing to look for, our shortstop will probably be Tyler Pasternicki, who won the minor league player of the year in the Atlanta Braves organization last year. Uh, he played in a couple of games in September. I really haven't seen enough to determine if he's, gonna, if he's good, but we do have Jack Wilson who signed for a $1 million contract for one year. But guys, spring training, okay? Baseball's in the air. I'm excited. What is y'all's favorite part of spring training? Well, just the blooming of the new season. It's spring, you know, it's, everybody's ready to go. You know, you have new hope from the disappointment of last year, and it's just a it's, all, it's a good time to reflect on the good things about your organization, and uh, the Braves really held fast this winter, and you know, with all the turmoil with the Boston Red Sox this year after a similar collapse, you sort of feel good about the Braves, you know, just staying true to the course and giving their young guys a chance to really perform. And and everyone's on even keel right now, you know, everyone's in first place. Uh, you, you really, the record doesn't matter in spring, it does look well if you have a winning record, but coming into the season, uh, everyone's on even keel, so we'll see what happens. Lynn Sanity is rampant right now all over the world, especially in the NBA. A kid undrafted out of Harvard, he's in his mid-20s, undrafted like I said, he's played on a couple of teams but really has never been given a chance. 
he's lighting the scoreboard up every single week in New York. He scored 38 against the Lakers the other day. Last week, he scored 38, and he also hit a game-winning shot against the Toronto Raptors. It was a three-pointer. The Raptors are terrible, mind you, but he hit a three-pointer, and he's a rookie. It's yeah. just unbelievable. So, guys, Lynn Sanity, is it for real? Like, Kayla, I know you're in love with Tebow, but, I mean, yeah. is, is Lynn Sanity for real? Well, you know, it's funny because they were comparing it to Tebow mania, and it seems like Jeremy Lin and Tebow are very much the same in their values and things like that. But mm -hmm. even though I'm a huge Tebow fan, I think that Jeremy Lin's story is way cooler than Tebow's. He started off a nobody really in college. He came to um, to the NBA. Nobody really wanted him, and then all of a sudden he just came out of nowhere as a superstar. And um, and I love it, and I love that he put up 38 points against Kobe after Kobe was like, oh, I've never even heard of this guy, yep. blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm That's sure right. he has heard of him now. So. <laughs> Absolutely, and he's the first Asian first player of Asian heritage to have as big of an impact like this besides Yao Ming. And we know what happened to Yao Ming. He, uh, he just fought injuries. He's similar to Greg Oden right now, continues to get injured, and I think he's probably just retired. He's never yeah. going to step foot on a court again. But, Shauna, you're a New Yorker. Absolutely. Do you like... Do you like Lynn Sanity? Yes. Yeah. Love and love Lynn Sanity. Um, and I, I'm glad that you brought up the point that, you know, with him being Asian American, um, it's very important because now I feel that that would open the door for other Asian Americans, um, a lot more diversity in basketball. And especially, um, I, I'm always one for the underdogs. Mm -hmm. So, um, attributing his story uh, compared with some diversity there. And then it's New York, so anything New York, you know that I'm going to love it. <laughs> Absolutely. And, but the interesting thing, he's so quick. The only guy I can really compare him to right now is Derrick Rose. So Really? Yeah, I think he's that quick. Really? I really think he's that quick. So I would be interested to see both of them get on the court at the same time. I don't know. I think a more apt comparison would be Steve Nash. I, re I really don't think uh, the explosiveness of the Derrick Rose is one of the fastest players in the NBA yep. ever. And so when you have, I mean, Lynn's just a, sort of a quick shifty guy can get to the hole, but he's a, he, he can play. He's got to work on his turnovers too. That's Absolutely. For sure. But you have to remember that Lynn is still young. That's true. So he still have all those years ahead of him where he can still be conditioned and the right coach can just take him under his wing and you never know where he's going to go with it. That's true. Uh, yeah, but Derrick Rose, what is he? He's 20. Yeah, he's 22. He's 22. He's yeah. my age. Yeah, he's, he's my age. <laughs> Don't need it. Um, so... <laughs> Lynn Sanity, we're just gonna see what. No, it's good. We're gonna see what happens. Um, it's it's amazing. What kind of impact do you guys think he's gonna have on the NBA in years to come? Oh, I think he can re reawaken a, a dormant franchise in the Knicks, which is huge for the NBA. You always need New York to be a good word dormant. to be a, a a very big part of the NBA and a big big part of the publicity because they're the number one market in the world. They're gonna bring in a lot of eyes, and that's just good for everybody. Colts owner Jim Ursay has left it up to Peyton Manning. He says that he's going to leave it in his hands whether he wants to come back or not. So I think that's a great. I think that's great because Peyton Manning has really become the franchise player for the Indianapolis Colts. I can never imagine him in another team. But uh, Jim Ursay actually has a quote. In one second, he says, "We want him back if he wants to come back. We can work out the contract if he wants to work it out. It's going to be Peyton's call." So I think this is really smart on their part. But what do you guys think? If you're Peyton Manning, put yourself in his shoes. Huge shoes to fill, but um, if you're Peyton Manning, what are you what are you gonna do? Well, I'm saying goodbye to the Colts. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you you have a an owner in Jim Irsay who has uh, repeatedly insulted him over the media. Mm -hmm. uh, they've gotten to a banter of war, uh, a war of words, if you will, and it's really just come down to the fact that he's fired all the people that Peyton knows in the organization. That's true. He must feel like he's the only guy left from the air, from the, the Peyton Manning era. So I say, you, you know, go to the 49ers. Go to a team with the Redskins who can pay him a lot of money. Redskins. And they really would want him. Uh, you know, you got a ton of teams out there who need, you know, a Peyton Manning esque quarterback. And you always want to compare people to Peyton Manning. Andrew Luck, Matt Ryan have been compared to those guys, mm -hmm. to him. So I uh, really think that he should just get, move elsewhere. I mean, they don't, obviously, they're rebuilding and they just need to move on with Andrew Luck. It's, it's interesting you mentioned the Redskins, too, because they also have taken a chance on Donovan McNabb in the past. And he's a veteran quarterback just like Manning. Mm -hmm. Doesn't equal him in skill level, but no. it's interesting you bring that up. Uh, you guys want to weigh in on anything like that? I agree with Billy. I think that, you know, it's best just to leave the Colts behind right now. I mean, they're already looking at Andrew Luck anyway. They're kind of putting their sights on other things. And, you know, it's kind of a weak team for Peyton Manning, who has so much talent. So why not go to another team and see what you can do there? 
Very good point. Very good point. Yep, I definitely agree. And you know, who wants to be second best anyways? You know, if you already know that that's where uh, the Colts are moving toward, then you know, go 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 somewhere where you feel that you can excel and you feel that it's the best move for you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely right. I mean, all all y'all making valid points completely. I I don't know what Peyton's gonna do. If I'm him, and as you said about Jim Irsay, I would probably jump ship too. It would just be hard to imagine him in another uniform. Yeah. Because yeah. he's he's he is the Colts. Yeah. He is the Colts, and the Colts are a quarterback run team. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. You know, he could stay and groom Andrew Luck, but they, we don't know how many years left he has. M- Manning's not Manning not Manning's not a mentor. Nope. He's, he's <laughs> not. He's no Brett Favre. Nope. <laughs> I spoke of Lynn's sanity earlier, and that brings up... Okay, Saturday Night Live did a skit this past weekend where they completely over-exaggerated the Lynn sanity thing. They had so many puns about Lynn sanity. Lynn credible, Lynn... I mean, this is unbelievable. What is your, all, what is your favorite Lynn sanity pun? My favorite one is all we do is Lynn, 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 Lynn. Love it. Anything musical. Love it. <laughs> Mine is the uh, Charlie Sheen one that Billy mentioned earlier with the Linning... Um, you can't beat Charlie Sheen and then, you know, Jeremy Lin together. Come on. I like Lin Credible myself. Um, it's just, you know, you just add an L. It's awesome. It's easy enough. Yeah, I'll just go with Lin Sanity since I, every single one I was going to do, uh, Kayla, then I was going to do yours. So I was just Sorry, like, I'm, I stole yours. Yeah, I was you, made up, Lin you made Lin up Lin Tacular. So. Lin Tacular, man. Lin Tacular is a, a good one, I think. That's, Lin Possible. It's Lin Taculous. <laughs> Nothing's Lin Possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jeremy Lin for you. That brings us to the question of the week. We're going to throw it to Billy here in just a second. He's going to get three or four Kennesaw students, and he's going to ask them what their favorite Lynn Sanity pun is. Thanks, Ben. We're here with Joe with his favorite Lynn pun. What's your favorite Lynn pun, Joe? Lynn Incredible. Lynn Incredible. All right. Here, we're here with KSU baseball player Ronnie Freeman. What's your favorite Lynn pun? Domination. Domination. That's a good one. I'm here with the lovely ladies of DeFi-E. What's, what are your ladies' favorite Lynn pun? All we do is Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. All right, you've heard it here first. Lincinity is running wild on Kennesaw State's campus. Thank you for watching Outside the Box. Tune in next week as we talk about even more sports topics. This is Billy Harper. That's Shauna Mayers, Kayla Pelham, and as always, I'm your host, Ben Poplin. Thank you again for watching.